Welcome back, everybody. It is time to lock down some more Naya Slivers, and we won the die roll. Let's get into it. Let's see how we can do. Oh, uh, no, we can't really keep this. Yeah, this is a little bit sketch. Let's run it back. Uh, oh, gosh. I mean, our mana's right, so sure, but this isn't great. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and... We're just going to lead on Mountain, go grab Ash Barrens, uh, grab ourselves a, a forest, I guess, and go from there. Up against Bogle, so we have a pretty late start against them. Let's freak them out. Thriving Heath, huh? Well, that's fine. But right now, let's just run out a Hunter. So we can try to at least provoke something. Especially if they don't get an enchantment on him this turn. We'll throw down our striking next turn and just take him out. Chances are they probably got something, but we'll see. This winding way needs to be good. Rancor here would be fine. You'd throw on a Rancor, I guess, right? Does that give any defense? I forget, actually. Does it give one defense? Can't remember. What you got for us, flower? Viable flower. They don't have white mana yet. Okay, that's fine. Getting in there. That's great. So, yeah, we're just gonna force the block on the ledge walker because that is the thing that we can't really block against or anything like that oh right this doesn't work i always forget that i always forget that provoke doesn't work against the hex proofs dang it i forgot uh it's fine we both have a weird start so i always forget the provoke does not work on them I don't know why. You have to target. I, for some reason, I always think, like, oh, you're not actually targeting. You're just provoking. <laughs> well, there's the Rancor. No, it doesn't give a defense buff. Double Rancor. Oh, gosh. Getting hit for nine. Nothing we can really do about it. Uh, I mean, it, our play last turn, even if we hadn't dropped these two and we just, like, went winding way into the striking or something like that. Like, what's it going to change? We're getting hit for nine. We can't defense against that. Uh, here, we'll just go ahead and... Say creature. Wow, we get a great hit. See you later. We will go to the sideboard. Hope for a better hand. Uh, Prismatic is reasonable. Lethal is reasonable. Uh, we'll take out the Hunter, because, again, I'm not, not good in this matchup. Always think it is. Heart is good. Striking's good. We'll cut a Gemide. We'll cut a Winding. Kind of want the Sentinels. Having Vigilance against people that you sometimes need to chump block is pretty good. Hmm. Could dump a plated. Does suck up damage. Maybe a Viverlint. 30 creatures. Sure. We'll see how that goes. Bogles is hard, man. Oh. I, I don't think I can keep this. 
right? I mean, I could. It's a lot of land, though, just for two lords. I just gotta hope to draw gas. Gas, gas, gas. If one of these was like a refill, I'd keep it all day. I'm debating. Part of me kind of wants to keep it just because the man is right but it doesn't seem uh, let's keep it let's just try to go draw gas we got a lot of gas to draw I don't know if this is the right move maybe we should be mulliganing harder into our sideboard try to find at least a destroy enchantment or something like that gleeful sabotage how do you guys play your slivers against bogles? How, how far do you guys dig to reach your sideboard? Or if you have a good hand, will you just run it? Like, what matchups do you guys dig to find your sideboard cards that you uh, brought into the match? That's what I'm curious about. Let me know in the comments below. For what matchups do you want to mulligan into your sideboard cards for? Like, for sure, want to get your sideboard cards. I know, like, some matchups it's, like, necessary, like... Some of the Tron matchups, it's kind of necessary to get those sideboard cards if you're going to have any chance of winning. Uh, we're going to call... What are we going to call here? Red with this? Yeah. Let's go. We'll call green with the other Thriving Heath, but... All right. All right, all right. We're going places here. I can dig it. Just give me more lords. We'll be fine. Give me a one drop next turn. Something I can just play with it. If not, we'll go to the Thriving Heath. They've already got the Ledge Walker, though. That sucks. Yeah, that's not fun. All right, there's something. Yep, so uh, we'll play him out for show. Boom. Bang. Get in for some damage. While we can. Pass the turn. We'll see where we land. Ethereal in the sky. That's the sucky part about having uh, our spinner at in the sideboard is like it doesn't do anything against this card either because it's technically not flying. It can just block things that have flying, but this does not technically have flying. Two, two, first strike. Plenty of blockers on the board. Okay, okay. That's what we like to see right there. Beautiful. Double Lord time. Let's get it. Swinging in for a good amount. We're out here racing. We get, okay. Cool. We got there. Excellent. All right. What else do we want? Nothing? I think well, that's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that's good. This is a bit awkward too, man. Double refill, one of the prismatics. We go planes, grab our forest. Probably just winding way at that point. Just, that seems slow. This seems slow, I'm gonna mulligan. Okay. Yes, I will keep that. I would like to hang on to all of this. Do we want to go fast or do we want to... I think I want to go fast. Keep the Heart Sliver, call Red with Thriving Heath. And then slam him to get in for extra damage on a, a good turn. I, I, I think I'm throwing back Sentinel. So let's see. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Or maybe I throw back Viverlint. Thri Thriving Heath comes down, taps. Turn two, what are we playing? Sentinel. We're getting rid of Viverlint. Alright. 
It's the best of both worlds, Sentinel Sliver and Heart Sliver. Super fun. Ah, look at that, what a draw. <laughs> we get our Viverlint back. We are rewarded for our, our good plays. But now, they gotta go find their planes. Just don't give a crazy start. This is, this isn't what you like to see. This is gonna be a little bit nutty. So we're still gonna go turn one Sentinel. Let's just get that out there. That's nice, but I don't think we'll ever get to the late game against these guys for refill. <laughs> this is our hand. If we can't get it done with this, like, we are gonna die. Uh, another land would be sweet. I would totally do Heart Sliver into Vivalent. Three cards in hand for them. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Two cards in hand for them at this point. We're taking the hit this turn. Now I think we're sitting back a little bit. Yeah, I think we just gotta... I can't play both, can I? No. That's unfortunate. But yeah, let's just go... Let's do what we originally thought. Let's just do the Heart Sliver, Viverlint. We've all got Viz Vigilance Haste. We can get in for some damage. Chump Block if we have to. This Trample is gonna be a butt right now though. We may just lose to this Trample. Especially if they go off with like a mask or something. Uh, this all just helps them a lot. I draw them a card? Yeah, that draws them a card. Colony Garden, now they got a blocker. That's game right there, man. You can't... You can't get around an Armadillo Cloak 10-8 First Strike Trampler. You just can't. Uh, there's no point in blocking us. I'm I'm saving one point of health. We're just going to take it. Can we win from here at all? With a land? Can we? Ooh. No, because they gained a lot. Dang, man. It's so unfortunate when you got a good hand with these guys, too. It's so unfortunate. I love the Sliver Haste, uh, the Sentinel Haste combo we've got going, too. I think it's really good for this matchup, but they just got such a start. Such a start. Can we survive one more turn? We're going to, like, lose everything if we do. Let's do the math. Let's see what they got, and then I'll do the math here. Because we've got... 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. Uh, uh, we literally just have to block with everything, right? They're at 7 poisonous. Uh, maybe I, I'm not really doing the math here. I just know we got to block with freaking everything. Doesn't really matter. I, I think we're pretty much dead to rights here. But maybe there's a chance we could sneak in with some poisonous for lethal. Ram through. Yeah, that's gonna do it right here. That's gonna do it. GG, my man. GG. Ram through's a good card for Bogles. Good card for Infect. That's good stuff. Armadillo Cloak is gonna kick in anyways. Yeah, we had to just go for poisonous. Let's see, what was our next card? Eh, nothing, nothing that would have helped us, really. That's a bummer, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that matchup. It was a fun one. Uh, please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you like watching the Naya Slivers. Stay tuned for Friday. We're going to be back with more Naya Slivers. Check out the videos in between this week here. We've got some more Doom Eternal, Smite going on, Call of Duty on the weekend, Booster Crack and Sundays, all coming up in the week. Uh, looking forward to it. We'll see you guys in the next episode.